I'm Susie Cheng Torres with Simplicity Realty Inc. And I'm your local real estate expert for the Woodlands and the greater Northern Houston area here in Texas. I specialize in working with professional women, families, and retirees within the Woodlands, Cypress, and Spring neighborhood. I've been a homeowner in the Woodlands since 2006, and I absolutely love living here. In fact, I have an eight-year-old and a 10-year-old who love school so much that I threaten to homeschool them if they continue to misbehave. And my two-year-old just adores his daycare moms. My husband can plan out the day to go kayaking on the lake or be spontaneous and bike five minutes to the local neighborhood park for a quick evening fishing. I became a real estate agent because at one point I was a client. My agent did not have my best interests at heart. I ended up losing a lot of money, sleep, and relationships. It was the most distressing situation because the real estate agent was my son's godfather. His wife was my good friend, and the children were my children's best friends. When we became real estate agents, we took a pledge to put our client's interests above our own. We pledge to be honest and fair to all parties. My agent did not honor his pledge duties to me as the client. I vow that I will step up to do this for myself and for other people. People who have worked hard to earn and save their money. I will be a servant of your needs, not mine. I used to be an educator at Cal State Long Beach in California and taught engineering students computer drafting. I used to joke to say I'm teaching engineering students how to draw on computers. I was also a wholesale produce farmer that grew and sold niche Chinese vegetables that reached Canada, New York, Texas, Nevada, California, and even the island of Guam. It's in my blood to provide, to educate, to serve my community. So if that need is simply to understand the buying or selling process, I'm happy to help clarify and explain the many nuances that comes with the real estate industry. If you're not ready, but just looking, let's connect. So we could come up with a strategy custom to your situation. Time is going to pass regardless. Action or inaction is unavoidable with the passing of time. But if you have a plan, your plan will be infused with a purpose. Action plus plan plus time equals goal achieved. As explained in my last video on market update, home inventory has been super low due to the national housing shortage by 6 million homes. Homes on the market are especially scarce in the woodlands, known for being the number one best city to live in the United States, according to niche.com. Homes are not staying on the market long. I'm working with some buyers who are looking every day for their dream home right now. If you want to downsize, upgrade, and thinking about selling your home, let's talk. Shoot me a message on Facebook at Five Homes with Susie to discuss how we can achieve your personal goals. If you choose to work with me as your realtor, you should feel reassured that you are in capable hands. I want to introduce you to my broker, Kinda Flag, and you can see why I picked this lady to back me up. Hi, Kinda. How are you doing today? Hey, Susie. How are you? I'm very happy that you can join us. I wanted to share with my viewers and everybody I've been bragging about why I picked you as my broker and the brokerage. So I'm very excited about today. Um, I'm going to start by asking you a little bit about your background and then we'll move forward. How does that sound? That sounds good. And I'm honored that you did select me as your broker. Well, tell us a little bit about how you started your real estate career. I got into real estate. Well, my first interest in real estate started when I was a teenager, um, going with my parents to help find a new home. I, I guess I wasn't much help, but they went to their real estate to find a new home and um, we went to her house and she had an 8 by 10 free work ring binder with three hole punch um, letter you know size paper and turning it page by page to look at houses and I just thought that was just awesome that we could look at houses all day long and get paid for that so um, a couple years later when I went to college and I seen that, that you can major in real estate. So I was like, I'm a major in real estate. And uh, I went to work in the um, criminal justice department on the uh, work study program and uh, fell in love with the professor's war stories and ended up majoring in criminal justice. 
And after a lengthy career in law enforcement and retiring, I went back to my first love, real estate. And how long did you actually stay in law enforcement? 31 years. Wow. And in that 31 years, what skill set did you think that you were able to develop in that time and then bring into the real estate career industry? Working with people, uh, everyone's different and different personalities. Oh, that's for sure. Now, what skill set did you feel like you still need to develop when you started as an agent? The hardest thing to do was letting down my guard and learning to trust. And how did you go about doing that? Well, it was... Like I had to do it quick or I wasn't going to be able to help my clients. So I just told myself this is something, you know, you got to learn how to trust people. And what made you want to help your clients? Tell me a little bit about your clients. What, what is their background, age group, profession? I don't have an age group, but the background mostly is law enforcement and military. Law enforcement because we have a different demeanor and I knew that they would get me and I would get them. And military, because my family is a lengthy military family. Um, my grandfather served in World War II. My um, dad was a Korean veteran. My um, brothers all served. My husband served. And I lost a brother in the Persian Gulf War, making us a Gold Star family member. Wow. Thank you so much for your long life services and your family. And I'm so sorry about your loss. Thank you. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your brokerage and the agents that work with you? We are a virtual brokerage and we handle from Galveston to just north of Bryan College Station. We meet every morning at eight o'clock in the morning on Zoom, Monday through Friday, and share our previous day's experience and help each other out with uh, what we can improve on. And what kind of real estate experience diversity do you have in your group of agents? We have agents with uh, a couple months of experience to um, years of experience. Um, I believe our um, lengthiest agent uh, started in real estate in 1976. Wow. Wow. That's, that's a lot of years of experience. Now, what do you think that's your brokerage apart from the other brokerage? I think we function together as a team. One of the number one things that set us apart. We're not in competition with each other. We all want to see each other flourish and grow, do good in our business. Then if you have a question and you need help, you can call me or you can group message our, our group text and everybody's willing to help you. Okay. So if somebody's busy, other people can chime in and be there for you. Right. Well, that's great. Now, do you find the other agents or other brokers also tap into your knowledge and resource the same way? Well, I know that I have brokers out there that I call if I want to bounce something off of them. And I'd like to think they can call me when they have to bounce something off of me. And um, other agents call us and ask us questions. Uh, maybe they are um, don't want to go to their broker and ask the question. Uh, there's no dumb question. Just ask, you know, and uh, I'm sure uh, anybody that's a broker would really say that to their agent. And I would definitely say it to all mine and any other agent out there that needs help. Well, that's very generous of you. I know some brokers, they might not necessarily have that same mentality as you do. So that's really great to hear that you're um, just helping people that you think may benefit you, but you're just out there helping. Right. That's very admirable. something that I want to take a leap from in, in your your book and propagate that and try to really educate and help as many people out there as much as I can. Um, can you share with us um, what is one of the most rewarding part of uh, your job as a real estate agent? That's a hard one. I think well, I had some clients this week. They bought a home for me two years ago and both the husband and the wife, it was the first time anyone in their family have ever owned a home. Now that is so rewarding to me and to them. And uh, so this weekend they've bought their second home they are using their first one which is a duplex as a rental and they bought their second single family home uh in galveston county that's where i'm from so i went up there to help them and it, uh, that's a real honor to see somebody that had their family never owned a home and now they in two years they've gotten two and so and the next thing is um are probably just as much as rewarding as helping agents flourish and grow their business that's awesome let's go back a little bit you have your brokerage service do you offer any other real estate services uh, to people 
people that have that need. We do property management. We kind of stumbled into that. A gentleman called me. He was in his 80s and he owned three properties here and um, he had them being managed. He was in Ohio. So he hadn't been down here in 20 years. And the people have been managing his property for 20 years. He had told me that they put a new roof on his houses and new bathrooms, new tile, new flooring, all within the last year. But he still couldn't get it rented out for one of them and um the other ones had been empty six months out of the year and uh he told me that the rent he was getting paid at one time that at that year eight hundred dollars a month but the people had moved out and hadn't been able to get new tenants in. and i asked him the locations and uh, when he told me that i was like there would be a line standing there for weeks to get into your house at that price so let me drive by and look at them. Maybe the house is falling down or something. Uh, and so I went by and there was a tenant living there where the property management said there wasn't no tenant. Uh, most property management companies, I'd like to think, are honest. But he had a bad one and I didn't know who to recommend him to because I never used property management. Uh, myself, we'd always manage our own property. So I said uh, that I would manage. So that's how we got started in property management. Wow. So you saved that man a lot of money. Yeah, it was sad that what had happened to him. It does happen a lot. Um, so now that is definitely a, a rewarding aspect of real estate agent. Uh, now, on the flip side, what are some of the most frustrating things of the job the most frustrating thing of the job is agents that think that they can get into real estate and it be an overnight success and they'll join your brokerage and they'll stay with you a couple of days and then say oh this isn't uh, what i'm looking for and uh or they'll be with your brokerage for a couple of weeks and and they got an email from another brokerage saying that they really want to interview them and people agents will call and say oh i really got a great opportunity because they all have the same opportunity it's it's all about you what you do what are you going to do to improve your business uh all brokerages can really do the same thing i would i would think i mean i was told by every brokerage that i interviewed that they had the best training in the world but uh and i started at one of the ones that claimed they had the best training in the world and i um didn't think the knowledge was all there for me i needed more knowledge than what i was going to get from them so up to you to be successful in your business and don't fall for them emails you get that say come to us or let us interview you we're going to give you an opportunity because the opportunity is you what are you going to do different no absolutely you make very good points this job a lot of the advertisement is to sell the glorious aspects of this job but this is a job that you really actually have to put in the work if you want to get the rewards you don't go from selling i didn't go from selling 12 houses my first year to 100 houses last year overnight it took me time of working and i and i worked 40 hours a week or more what were some of the things that you had to do starting out from scratch i started out by four in my neighborhood so what that means is that you go to your neighborhood and you pass out letters you know neighborhood letters community letters and i did that on a monthly basis and did you work until you actually saw results and then you stopped or you just kept working so i hear agents say i've tried that and i am so when you get down to it well how often did you try it well i tried it one time or i tried it two times so i tried it three times but none of that's gonna work you gotta be repeatedly trying it every month be consistent every month every month for a year and then you can tell me you tried it and at today now do you still have to farm or do you get your um, business uh, through other methods be honest with you in the last year i was terrible at farming i just started back a couple of months ago but um i didn't have to farm my phone rings automatically now i was uh, used to have to get out there and knock on doors and farm but i don't have to do that no more my, most of my business is repeat business and what contributed to that wonderful state of people just calling you and giving you a business what did you have to give them in return for that i think it's my knowledge so i had to give good customer service but my good customer service isn't to always be up in your face or be on social media or anything i think it's the knowledge that you provide to your client when they're going through the process of buying a home we can always look at things to improve and how we can do better and i can think of a million things that i can do better and i try to do everything as good as I can. So it's about revolving and just getting better. It's 1% better every day. That's great advice, especially when some tasks seem just very intimidating. Getting a little bit done, making small improvement is the way to do it.
So do you have any mottos or guidelines or um, life rules that you have for yourself? I just always do the right thing even when nobody else is looking. What made you decide on that rule? Because we're, none of us are perfect and we all make mistakes and we all do things wrong. But if we try to be honest to ourselves, then we'll be honest to others. And uh, that's the motto I live by. I can't, uh, it's hard for me to tell somebody how to do something if I'm not doing it right. So we know you're a hard worker. What would you like to do in your leisure time? Read and swim. I like to read and swim and spend time with family. What do you like to read? I like to read books that give me knowledge and power. Oh. So no romance or drama. <laughs> oh. What was the last book you read? YouTube for Agents. I can't <laughs> you know, Kinda, I have to say, um, I have uh, parents that have never used computers growing up. And it was, and I'm a professor, but it was very, very difficult teaching them how to use the computer. And I want to give you accolades for how you've embraced the new technology and has been leading us onto this new frontier. You're just our fearless leader. So uh, I want to point that out, especially in this day of age, how hard, how scary technology can seem, not just to the older generation, but for a lot of people. So in that sense, I feel like, you know, you, you are very innovative. The knowledge that you keep hungering for, thirsting for, and it's really hoping to bring like new energy and goals for this brokerage, which is something that I really, really am drawn by. Well, thank you. Uh, so if you had all the money in the world, what would be something that you wouldn't spend it on? I've never thought of that because I, I don't spend a lot of money on different things. Anyhow, I'm, I mean, I like to live in a nice house. I like to drive a nice car, but I have a hard time like spending money that's not necessary to spend. I'd rather brag about how inexpensive I paid for something instead of how much I paid for it. And I used to own a resale shop. Uh, people would, uh, at my old job, they would always brag about, oh, I bought this and how much they paid for it. And I, I like the people I can relate to people more that came to my resale shop because they would be happy that they found something for, you know, so low of value versus what they would have had to pay for it in the store. Yeah. So you would love TJ Maxx, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, TJ Maxx is too high. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I need to get down to your level. <laughs> that Maybe I'll save more money that way. So um, if you had one person that you wanted to thank for where you are today, who would that be? Oh, it would be very hard to thank one person because it took a lot of people to get me where I am today. Um, so, oh, my my grandmother, my, my mother made me who I am today. Uh, my husband supports me no matter what direction I take him in. He's willing to go beside me with that road. Um, my children and my brothers always um, pat me on the back and give me kudos and support me along the way. And um, my agents uh, for continuing to show up and to produce and go through the struggles with me and my friends and, and my clients that oh, used to be my clients and now they're my friends. Wow, that sounds wonderful. And I'm so glad I am part of your world, Kenda. And I can't wait to get to where you are today. <laughs> well, thank <laughs> you. Me You'll do it. <laughs> well, You'll do it. I know you will. You're, you're great at what you're doing. Oh, thank you so much for your support and encouragement. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Kenda Flag, uh, I have a little acronym for you, Kenda. Kenda K is for knowledge, I is for integrity. N is for no nonsense. D is for dedication. A is for appreciation. Oh, thank you. Now, if you want to hear more, flag, F, fearless. L, <laughs> loud. A, animated. G, gracious. G, go-getter. I am always loud because I just have that natural speaker's voice. <laughs> well, and, good. Um, what's the end? I forgot what you said. No nonsense. And sometimes I wish I wasn't like that. I, sometimes I wish that I had the humor. Like my husband, he's just a natural born comedian. And I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> you have humor. Your humor is, is a little bit more on sarcastic. Right. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's humor. It's the law enforcement humor, which only exactly. law enforcement would get. <laughs> well, it's wonderful getting to know you. And I hope my viewers get an idea um, of our brokerage and the heart and the passion. 
and the dedication that's behind it. So thank you again, Kinda. Thank you. And that's um, definitely something that uh, I hope that we can all get to pick that kind of, um, oh gosh, I don't know where I'm going with that. I'm cutting that one out. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs>